Now let's graph linear equations in general form. I'll graph two of them, and I will use two different strategies to graph them. For number one over here, I'm actually just going to isolate y. So I can put this linear equation into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so I'll subtract x and 4 from both sides of the equation. These guys are going to cancel out. And I'm going to get y equals 0 minus x, so negative x, 0 minus 4, just negative 4, 4 minus 4. Okay, so we have y equals negative x minus 4. And I'm assuming that everyone is familiar with y equals mx plus b. The slope intercept form, if not, check out our videos on our website. And the slope is m, y intercept is b. So over here, y intercept is negative 4, slope is negative 1. Every time that we don't see a number here, it's a 1. So that means that our, let me change the color here for now. So our our y intercept is negative 4, so starting here, 1, 2, 3, negative 4 right here. And the slope is negative 1, so we're going to go over one unit to the right, one unit down, one unit to the right, all the way through, of course, because it's a line. So let me connect the dots. Here we go. That's it. So this line right here is our line x plus y plus 4 equals 0. If you were to take any point here, let's say if I take point um, negative 5 comma 1 and I plug that into this equation, I'm going to get the truth. What do I mean by that? Well, that's x, right? And that's y. So I plug in negative 5 plus 1 plus 4 equals 0. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 equals 0. So what does that mean? Well, that if I can plug a point into the linear equation and it makes it work, we get the truth, like 0 equals 0. It means the point is on the line. Okay, so now let's graph 2x plus y minus 4 equals 0. For this equation, I'll just use a different strategy. I'm going to find the x-intercept, the y-intercept. We'll plug them both in. And I'll connect the dots, and we're going to have the line. How can we do that? Okay, so I'm just going to start by plugging 0 in for x. I can just do that. Plug 0 in for x. And that way, I'm going to be finding the y-intercept. 2 times 0 is 0. So we have y minus 4 equals 0. Now I can add 4 to both sides of the equation. And y is equal to 0 plus 4, which is 4. That was the ugliest 4 ever. OK, that's a little bit better. So all right, so that's the y-intercept. So we're going to go from the origin four units up for a y-intercept of 4. And now let's find the x-intercept. And to do that, I'm going to plug in 0 for y instead. So we have 2x plus 0 minus 4 equals 0. 2x. Now 0 minus 4, that's just negative 4. Now I'll add 4 to both sides of the equation. So we get 2x equals 0 plus 4, 4. And I'll divide both sides by 2. So x is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So that is the x-intercept. So starting from the origin, we we'll go 2 units to the right. And that's it. So if we connect the, these two intercepts, we're going to get our linear equation. So let's try to do that. There we go. So of course this line is 2x plus y, that's a plus by the way, 
minus 4 equals 0. I decided to write it slanted. Didn't work out that well. Actually, it's okay, I guess. As long as everyone understands that that's line number 2. And that's it. Now I suggest that you try a few more questions, get some practice, and then you'll be well on your way to do well with linear equations. Good luck.